As we all reflect on the essence of our shared reality, I invite you to ponder the burdens we collectively bear. In recent years, amendments to our Public Finance Management Act have subtly altered the framework of our governance. Firstly, the National Treasurer now withdraws money from the Consolidated Fund without the controller of budget's approval. Secondly, loans acquired externally can cover procurement expenses before reaching the central bank. These changes have opened gateways for financial mismanagement, epitomized by the Eurobond scandal and the COVID millionaire scandal. The figures of borrowed funds and those received at the central bank diverge mysteriously, perpetuating an ever-increasing public debt. The government's clever facade involves balancing deficits with treasury bond receipts. Without the controller of budget's oversight, the national treasurer navigates beyond fiscal constraints, safeguarding orchestrated schemes under the guise of our elected leaders. Ironically, they manipulated laws governing public funds, legally siphoning borrowed money while preaching about living within our means and enforcing austerity measures. In conclusion, let this public protest transcend mere frustration. Let it be a platform to unveil the intricate heists and scandals we endure. We, the citizens of Kenya, must demand accountability from those we entrusted to lead us, but who have instead subjugated us. Reflect, question, and unite for a just future. For Kenya, for justice.